Sounds like my husband. <laughs> I'm singing my wife. <laughs> I said the two of them together. Here he comes. Come on, let's go. Oh, yeah. Wake up! Wake up! Nothing like them up. Most spacious skies forever waves of green for purple mountain majesty. Uh, hold on a second. I ain't never seen no purple mountains. Who makes this stuff up? Uh, oh, howdy, folks. Yep, this is indeed America, home of the brave. Down the road is the potato shack, restaurant of the brave. <laughs> and just over yonder is Beaver Creek, home of the uh, couple of beavers. <laughs> we also got Rocky the Bear, pride of the Smokies. Why they don't call him Smokey the Bear is beyond me. Copyright infringement, I suppose. Now here's my point. If my forest friends are the living fiber of this country, then why do folks mount them on their walls? <laughs> well, most folks will tell you it's because they're such beautiful animals. Heck, my mama is attractive, but I keep photographs of her. <laughs> Trigger the horse? He was no less an American than George Washington. But nobody ever mounted George above the fireplace. Dang! Food for thought, anyways. Hey, speaking of food, anybody got any? I'm willing to sing for my supper. Here's a little ditty that won me the Songbird Award at the Timber Canyon Talent Contest. A tune my pappy sang to mama every night of their lives. And forgive me if it brings a tear to my eye. It's called, You're the Reason Our Kids Are Ugly. Ha! <laughs> Just kidding! <laughs> you know I love you, mama. It's actually a song about a subject near and dear to vultures everywhere. Roadkill. <laughs> on the road again. I just can't wait to eat on the road again. The life I love is having dinner with my friends. So I can't wait to eat on the road again. <laughs> just leave the middle son of my perch. Uh, I'll get to it later.